Good morning, and it is morning. It is early in the morning, so approximately, actually, I don't know what time it is. Let me see. Oh, yeah, it's 2.30 in the morning, a.m., Georgia Eastern Standard Time. And I wanted to make a real quick video. I, I, I'm not going to rant 30 minutes. It's early in the morning, but for some reason, I tend to make my best videos early in the morning for some reason probably because I'd be up drinking and you know yeah I don't need a drunk tone to speak my mind but I want to give a shout out to all females to let you know Matt love you but the the main um, focus about this video is Yesterday, I had some issues with someone um, in um, that's some that's uh, my my niece's to be baby's father, but we'll get on that subject in a little bit. The main thing that I want to think, talk about first is. I'm going to eliminate some words from my vocabulary when it comes to women because it's just derogatory, it's belittling, and it's not becoming of any man, woman, or any upcoming child. After this video, you will no longer hear me use the bitch word, the whole word, when it comes to talking about women. Because you know why? Yesterday, my niece called. And she was very upset. She called her baby dad. To be baby dad. She hasn't even had the baby yet. Uh, was trying to get someone to fight her. Really, a man going to get another female to fight his pregnant girlfriend. Now, how does that sound to y'all? How does, does that make any sense? Does he sound like a man? Does it sound like someone you want to have a child by? But it's not just him. It's a collective. It's a collection of people. It's a collection of people. It's other people. It's me. Every day. Bitch this, bitch that, that, hold that. And you know, women really deserve a whole lot more respect than for someone just to sit and call them bitches and hoes. Because you know why? The same bitch and the same hoe that we refer to are the ones that has to take care of the child. They have to get up. They have to feed the child. They have to um, deal with the teachers. They have to deal with the child's attitude. And the men, on average, don't have to do anything. They're just free to go. You just make the babies and you go. That's so wrong. That's so double standard. That's so typically male you know I, I mean it's it's really to me it's ridiculous you know because I'm not religious I believe in the word I don't believe that God made woman under man don't believe he made woman from a rib and all that if you're on this earth you are equal and stop letting people tell you this and tell you that start learning how to take things and figuring them out for yourselves. But it was just so hard to see that a man would call his baby mama to come fight another girl. That's not a man, that's all pussy. That's all pussy. And me, I am anti-abortion. But his baby, I wouldn't have it. I wouldn't have it. I wouldn't. She can't tell a woman what to do with anybody. You can't tell a man what to do with anybody. But that child, no, I wouldn't have it. Because you think about the stuff that you're going to go through when you have it. But you know, I mean, okay, had a baby, put it up for adoption. I wouldn't deal with it. I mean, so, you know, my niece said she go, she called, the girls keep calling the phone and, you know, telling them to meet them. And so, you know, she go over there, and I told her she was wrong for going over there because now you're going to become the aggressor, so you stay away. But what I said, 
is when she got there, they were like, call your people. Go and bring your people over here. Look, trashy nigga. I'm not a street nigga anymore. So, if you want to see me, if you want to see me, I got my lease where my name's on it. I, I'll, I'll show it because I'm not going to get up now. It's 2.30 2 in the morning. So, why would you send for somebody in her family? If that ain't what you call a trashy nigga, I don't know what else you call. You know, you don't have to look for trouble. It'll find you. It'll seek you out. But for a man to want to get a pregnant woman jumped on, it's, 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 it's appalling. It's almost scary. And I figured he got to be gay. Got to be bisexual. Because ain't no man going to hit no pregnant woman. Not a real man. Not a man with nuts. And it's always like this down here. They always want to fight a woman. But you never see him hit a man. Because I guarantee you, he won't come nowhere near me talking about fighting. Not with that seven motherfuckers like he had yesterday for a female. You're going to double that up for me? I fight you. Hand up. Man up. You know what I'm saying? I fight you. You know, gun. No nothing. I fight you. Beat my ass. I beat your ass. But for you, nigga, a man, a so called man, because like I said, you got to be all pissy. He's gay. You were sleeping with a female. Thought it was a man. Damn transsexual. Mm. It's just sad. But women, I want you to know never will you hear me degrade y'all again like that. Because you know what the same women that I be referring to as bitches and hoes? You know, I have a mom. But she's not no bitch and she's not no hoe. And she raised me. Hell, we still live together. Um, so I'm gonna, you know, you have to start with the man in the mirror. You can't start with a man that's not in the mirror because you don't know him. So I'm gonna start with me. Never will I disrespect you women. And I really never were disrespecting you women. I'm gay. You know, we talk shit about females. But 90, excuse me, 95% of my friends are females because I'm a caring person. I need somebody caring in my life. I don't need nobody walking around knowing who the fuck. You know what I'm saying? Like most of these guys right here, you, you, y'all don't give a fuck. You don't have a house. You don't have a home. You can't live with your parents. You can't do nothing because up here, there's nothing. And you don't, you don't have anything intellectual. And I made this comment earlier. Y'all niggas hang on the street corner all day. You don't have to get a, get a child ready for school. And what makes you so much better than the female where well, you can't raise the child? Why, why, why you can't put your two cents in? You know, you out buying pussy, powder, weed, and beer all day. Slide some of that money over to your child. Most of you niggas only see your child. Award day, Mother's Day, Father's Day. And the other time you suck up on a nigga ass. Nuts, all day. True, the proof is in the pudding. I'm stating facts. I'm not stating anything that's not true. Every other guy I know here in Macon is a dead beat dad. But he got plenty side pussy, plenty of chicks. And it's 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 crazy. And but I see why y'all all yoked up together because you know why? Fools like fools. Fools hang together, fools do good together. A real man can walk by himself, he don't need ten niggas, you know. All y'all doing is walking around screwing the same girl, smoking the same blood. Y'all been blunt and share this motherfucker. So you don't never have your own blunt. You don't have your own anything. But I thought about all that stuff that I used to say sitting here calling women bitches and stuff like that. And a woman raised me. Never turned her back on me. And I apologize. And I was I never did it out of hate. It's really used to be funny. There's some nasty women. You know, it's got some nasty niggas too. That, you know, just sit and they want to, you know, talk bad about people, but it's not my character. I, I got caught up in the Facebook hype, you know. You know, I want to, I want to, because I am happy. And I think that people should be happy. You know, but 
men, start doing more for your kids. I I was at a club last year, and I, I don't call the names. I really don't want any confrontations with your niggas because you don't mean anything. You don't do shit for me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I got my own crib. I got my own ends, like the fiance and immediate friends. You know what I'm saying? I ain't, I'm not out searching for nothing. The last thing I, I want to do is date a black dude. That's the last thing I want to do. I think I'd rather die and go straight to hell. So-called hell. I don't know what hell is, but because hell is up here, and most of y'all are living in your hell. But I really lost track. That was, you know, just so discerning to see that you risk getting child cruelty charges. You risk bringing other people down, going to jail. You're a street nigga. I get in trouble with you. There ain't nothing you can do for me. But I can go on my own account and get my own money. You know, it's nothing you can do for me. Like, I, I, I made a comment or a post on something about on either on Facebook or it was either on YouTube. Y'all don't want to see nobody with nothing. Why would I come to you? I don't even know you. I don't even really talk to people I don't know because you don't mean nobody any good. It's like they tear her to bring her people. You don't want to see me. You really don't. And then I guarantee if you did see me, you wouldn't see me one on one. You gonna bring somebody for me because nigga, I will stomp your motherfucking ass back into your monk hut. I'm gonna stop saying that word too late. I had to get it out tonight. I'm not the one. I don't play with you niggas. I don't like broke niggas. I don't like niggas that sit up on the other niggas all day. A deep ride. I ain't my type of party, baby. I've been stashing cash in '92. I got investments. I'm not. I'm not one for that. I'm not. I miss. I don't miss in the meal. And I eat organic. And I only eat chicken and wild caught fish. I don't. I don't eat bullshit. You know what I'm saying? I take care of this, which is another reason some of y'all are, you know, jealous. Too. You don't do anything. Y'all niggas run behind each other all day talking about you gangster. Gangsters can roll by themselves. Gangsters don't need to get. Gangsters, you don't have to pull up on the gangsters. You got some motherfucker to fight you. That's what you call, uh, that's called jumping a nigga. Kicking a nigga when he down. You're not a man. And my niece, I'm so sorry that you got pregnant by him. You know, I'm, I'm, I really am sorry because I I feel your pain. It's, it's, it's sad, but you know, you always got options, baby. There's nothing in this world that you can't do that God won't forgive you. You're not an angel. You're a human being. And God forgives all sins for humans, yet those that covet runneth over and seen all the goodness of his glory, which is why he didn't forgive the fallen angels that went against him because they knew. You don't know God like that. You know? So be happy. If you need to get a restraining order, get one. But don't seek a temporary one, seek your permanent one. You know, because evidently, he don't want the child no way. He trying to get you jumped on. That's the gayest shit I ever heard. They want to say, I'm gay. That's gay. I don't hit women. You know, I hit niggas. You know? I don't want to eliminate that word too out of my vocabulary. I'm going to have to elevate myself. As long as you sitting and dealing with lower life people, lower class people, nasty people, you can't elevate yourself. Let me tell you something about these niggas in the street. <laughs> you ain't really fucking nigga with no job. A nigga hustling on the street. I mean, most of these niggas on the street hustling strictly to supply their drug habit. And who are they going to get with at night? And in the morning, they start all over again. See, women can't do that. They got to get them, get their children ready. You know, these, these, these white folks own their ass when they go to school. You know what I'm saying? Uh, imagine... Most of y'all baby daddies are responsible for taking y'all kids to school, getting them ready, combing their hair. They can't do it. But that's y'all fault. Y'all late with that trash. You know? It's, it's, it's ridiculous. And I, and I see here and I think about it all the time that I to see and call women bitches at home. But like I said, it wasn't that type of party. It was just really all talk. I've never had more respect for niggas than I have when they the kids. You know, that takes a sacrifice. These niggas don't sacrifice. The only thing they sacrifice for is drugs and some free pussy. 
or wait on the bitch to die and wait on the setup. Happy then. You ever seen these niggas when somebody died? I know. See, y'all so happy. And I know the Bible says that you're supposed to rejoice when they did, but y'all take that shit to the extreme. You're evil. You're eating at the devil's pot and you're doing his work. But it's going to be a place for you. I don't know where it is. I don't have a hell of heaven to put you in. I have a hospital to put you in. Fucking with me or my folks. You're not nobody. And I'm going to clarify this. I'm going to cut this video short because that's what the video is about. But I want you to know no man is going to put their hands on a female in my family or extended family through marriage. Because when they call me, I'm coming. As for their uncle, you can get ahead about I don't need a pistol. I don't need a knife. I got these hands. You know what? Well, come get you some of them. If that's what you want to tell her to um, bring her folks. No. Come to her folks. You always know how to find me on Facebook. I don't have. Space don't happen. No nigga ain't got no money. You got no money. Shit, whatever go down, when I go down, <laughs> I ain't want for no money. I'ma eat. Fuck we and talk myself for all that shit down the road, dude. Been there, done that. You know. But, you know, I'm gonna make this real brief and I wanna do my first black and white video anyway. But you know, just saying, leave something here for you. By all means necessary. Keep your motherfucking hand out when they fight you a nigga, nigga. Ask uh, my niece to kill. You know, tell her you want a one with her uncle and come get you one. I want to give you one anyway. Have a good night.